Hello and good evening people, sorry for my late video upload. Today we will be learning a new trend that is going on a market and has huge value nowadays, that is called a glass morphism effect or we can say fog effect or glass effect only. It is being used everywhere from cards design to whole website design, and today we are learning it on this video with most easiest step on YouTube. So, don't skip the video and watch till the end. We will be making a simple glass effect today, and if you want more, I would be making a landing page for website using this effect on next video. And so without wasting time on introduction, let's start making our glassy effect. So here I have a folder named glass effect, and inside I have an image for background, an index.html file, and style.css file. Now open a VS code. And here you can see a HTML format, with a index.html file linked with style.css, and style.css is completely empty. So come back to HTML file, and we will start from body section. First of all we will make a dip. Then add a class called glass effect. That's all for HTML file. Now we move on to CSS part, you can open the browser from starting as well. Here I have made a split screen to make you understand more better. Now at first what we want is to add a background image on our body part, so come to CSS and work for body. Write background image is equals to url1.jpg. If you don't know from where I wrote this 1.jpg then, let me show you. Here I have an image on same folder as you can see named 1.jpg. So for now let's hide this sidebar for some space. Now write a background position equals to center, so this will put you image on center position. Then write background size of cover, it means it will always put background image inside dip. And now at a height of 100 vh, it means you have 100% of viewport height. Now when I save it and refresh my page you can see my image. But there is scroll bar, due to dissimilar size of my image, so I will make it 95 vh. And refresh it again, now you can see a perfect background image. Now add a display equals to flex, so what it does is, it will fill the available space and shrink them to prevent overflow. And after that add in align items of center, this will bring a flex box items all in center vertically. And at last add a justify content equals center as well to make items bring towards the center alignment along the main axis. And if you refresh it, you will see nothing has changed. So now we will be working on a class that we made before that is glass effect on HTML inside a dip. Copy it and come to CSS. Write dot, that is class, and paste the glass effect. First of all we will add some width, that is equals to 400 pixels. And add a height, that would be 400 pixels as well. But when you reload your page you won't be able to see any objects of 400 x 400 pixels objects, cause we haven't added any background to it. So add a background, that is equals to radial gradient, so it is a function that creates consisting of a progressive transition between two or more colors that radiates from an origin, and it can be circular or elliptical shape. Now write a RGBA, you all know RGB represent red, green and blue, A represent an alpha, which specifies the opacity for a color. So we will add 0000, 0, 0, 0 at first to make it visible for now, that is black color. And give a comma, and now we will add a white, color so right. RGBA again with 255, 255, 255, and give a opacity level 4. White color, let's say 0.6. So 0.6 is a opacity or alpha for the item of RGB or you can say opacity of white color. So now when you refresh your page, you should be able to see a box. So now let's remove these four corner points using border radius. So add a border radius equals to 20 pixels. So when you reload the page you should see a round corner which make it look even better. But still it doesn't look like a glass, 
cause it doesn't looks real without some blurriness on a glass. So to add blur effect, we will be using drop down filter on class glass effect, so write drop down filter equals to blur. And give a pixel of blurriness you want to add in your box, so I will give a 3 pixels first and let's reload the page. Here you can see some blur effect on our box. So, let me increase some pixel, let's say 10 pixels so that you could see that properly, here you can see more blur effect on box, but I would keep that 3 pixels only cause it looks more realistic. Now it is looking a little bit more real like glass, but still we have something missing that is shadow, so to add a shadow effect, write box shadow equals 5 pixels, which is for x axis, 10 pixels, which is for y axis, and 20 pixels, which represent the opacity of blurriness you want on shadow, so I will tell you again, 5 for x, 10 for y and 20 for blur effect, and at last right color, that is RGBAB, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.6 is opacity for shadow of your box, so when you refresh it you should see some shadow on your box. So here you can see some shadow. Let me increase the pixels. On x-axis, that is 15 pixels, which move 15 pixels to x-axis. So when you refresh it you can see more blur effect on right side but I will make it 5 pixels as before for more realistic view. Now when we save it, and see on a large screen, it still doesn't look like a glass. So, come to CSS and remove this first RGBA color form background on class glass effect, and save it, and see the magic. So you have successfully made a glass effect using HTML and CSS, so to make it look bigger and to add some text inside content inside box, you just have to increase the width and height of this item. And after doing that save it and refresh you page you will see a bigger glass, on which we will add some content on next video. So on next video we will be making a landing page using same trick of glass effect, so subscribe my channel if you haven't and give a thumbs up if you learned something new from my video. And let me know if you question in comment box. So, thanks for watching guys, see you in next video, next week, bye for today.